how do you think spirituality can help get rid of corruption to some extent so let's understand this uh, corruption because it's a it's a very important thing that everybody understands this properly in its right perspective rather than reacting against a bunch of people who are in an advantageous position okay <laughs> <laughs> Wherever I go, I speak to various economic and political leaders around the world. Everybody says, we want to come to India, India is a big possibility, but the humiliation of corruption, we can't bear it. Because it's not just about money, they're willing to pay a percentage and get the work done, but the humiliation that they put through on a daily basis, which we have gotten used to, they're not willing to go through that. They said, it doesn't matter if we don't do business, but we don't want to come there and go through all that rubbish. So, this possibility is being jeopardized by a handful of people or it is wrong to say it's a handful of people, it's a nation full of corruption. Correct. Because how many people in Mumbai streets, if there is no policeman will start at the red… stop at the red light? I think only ten percent will stop. So these ninety percent are corrupt people. If they make… if you make them the chief ministers and prime ministers, you know what they will do? So instead of just calling it by one bad word called corruption, we need to understand we as a society are trying to move from a feudalistic way of managing our lives to a democratic way. The democratic way has still not sunk into us. Suppose you become the chief minister of this state, your relatives and your friends will expect that you do something for them. If you become the chief minister and you're very strict and you, you will not yield to any nepotism, this, this, they'll think, what is this? He's my brother, he became chief minister, Just look at him, he doesn't look at me. He does not understand you're being straight, you're doing something for the country. So I am saying in our psyche, we are still feudalistic in nature, but we are trying to run a democracy. Democracy will not happen with an active sense of education as to what is democracy, what is the power of democracy, what it means, what is the responsibility of living in a democratic society. This has not been done. We just took democracy from the British and we think if they just put their oat and get their fingers dirty once in five years, everything is settled. No, we have not educated people. We are still a feudalistic society acting to be democratic. democratic. So. Many people, the corrupt people, the very, very corrupt people in the country, I've met them, they're bewildered. Why are people upset? I'm only doing for my family <laughs> This is just yeah, a little bit of right. uh, misunderstanding about uh, Einstein's theory of relativity. You know, Einstein said everything is relative. They misunderstood relatives are everything. <laughs>